another episode of building expert advisors together. This time uh, I got a demand to create an expert advisor that uh, puts a buy trade and sell trades and opens up a sell pending order, x pips away as well as a buy pending orders x pips away. The um, little detail here was that the buy pending order should be placed further below while the sell pending order should be placed above and that uh, if one is filled the other should be uh, the other pending order should be deleted so let's get over uh, how i did it so to start with i defined that once a day at the starting time the buy block will run so it will place a buy trade and sell trade and also it should place a buy pending order and sell pending order so the little details here is that at a certain hour this is actually a string so if you want to make it a setting you have to use string start time and use this configuration um, another thing to mention is is that um, here we used offset and the offset here was a variable so basically it was a variable because normally offset puts the trades up for for buy buy pending order and below the open open for a sell pending order and um, the jmob really wanted it to uh, be the opposite way so the way to work with this is that we need to uh, multiply the offset by minus one. So what now happens is that it's getting inversed. So the buy trade will be placed below and sell trade, sell pending order will be placed above. So another thing to mention here is that um, I defined the trade created once once a trade is created like once a pending order is filled it should uh, delete the other pending order and i did this with this construct so if we go now into the um, meta trader you will see here it buys and sells it uh, trades pending orders which uh, you can set with the offset and once the buy pending order is filled the sell trading order is closed and this way our logic our expert advisor is done and um, it shows us a great way to incorporate the variables into expert advisors feel free to check out my Udemy course i teach you how to properly use fx streamer and how to automate your strategies using it